Hi everybody, I'm JT and welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. So today's video is something a little bit different. We're going to head off and go crabbing down at Muddiford Quay. Let's get all our kit loaded up in the back for the day. We can take honey with us as well. So we've got the crate, bits and bobs. We're going to hopefully the weather stay nice enough that we can have a nice brunch and maybe some lunch as well. So we've got our Kadak to use whilst we're out and about and of course our fishing kit. So we've arrived at Muddiford just having a quick bacon fry up, brunch fry up before we try and go crabbing. Honey's keeping an eye on proceedings in the back of the van. <laughs> She's her nose is in overdrive. She's super small been very good not eating any of the bacon but got everything set up table out pop top up all ready for a nice day down here enjoying the seaside so thanks for tuning in today to watch remember you can hit the button to subscribe anytime during the video and uh, enjoy today's film So fan we're just going out just using the ridge monkey to fry up for a bacon sandwich and making a cup of coffee that this little camping gas stove is great. Uses the little cartridges inside which last for a few uses. We just had to replace that one. But bought these from Aldi and it was about only about four pounds for a pack of four, which is really really good bag. So because our van is the beach version, it doesn't have the integrated kitchen and then using the camping gas stove is a real bonus. Just be able to knock up a cup of coffee, fry up a sandwich or some bacon whilst we're out and about. If we're going for longer, then we've always got our Kadak barbecue. So we've cobbled together for our crabbing some nets that we did have some crabbing nets before but uh, they perish over time because of salt water so just found some old um, fishing nets and made what hopefully will work a crabbing net on a line to drop over the edge so the line is attached to just a round net and then we'll just set, drop that over the T edge. Hopefully catch ourselves some crabs um, with a bit of luck. So and depending which way the tide is going as well, we'll just drop it over, a little bit of weight in there, and uh, fingers crossed it will work. It's a bit of a homemade net, but fingers crossed it will work, and then we've got a normal net as well. But uh, we've got a bucket. I think our record here when we've been before, Harry, was it something like about 80 crabs in a a day's worth of crabbing so we'll see how we 80 yeah 80 eight was zero. yeah eight zero so we'll eight see zero. how we get on <laughs> just gonna make a cup of coffee yep and enjoy that sizzle that up in the back here and then go and see what we can come up with Have you caught anything yet, Harry? No, one was hanging on to the side, 
then it just decided to hold. Oh, we had had one on the thing, did we? Yeah. No, oh, I didn't realise that. So a tense moment, but then it tense just moment. Fell off. <laughs> First crab, way! Hold on, Harry. Come on. It's a tiddler. It's a tiddler. Can I pick it up? Yeah, are you gonna fish? I hold it. Yeah. Right, how do you hold them? Between, try to come from them from behind, behind, and then between his legs. Yeah. So around his body, from behind. So a bit there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guarding his face first. <laughs> Oh, he's so scared. Oh, Mr. Is it? Ah! Give him a tug. Oh, he's very happy. Oh, no! First crab. I finally got a crab. Here you go, have something to eat. It's so interesting how they move. Like prehistoric creatures. See how many more we can catch. So I love coming down here to Muddyford sat at the end of the quay all the lobster pots from the fishermen are working fishing port the kids love a bit of crabbing sometimes we're more successful than others so today we haven't caught a huge number hopefully they've had a good day The lifeboat station down here. Fortunately, not in action today. Overlooking the harbour. The weather's coming in now. When we arrived, it was really nice and sunny. Did forecast that it might cloud over and showery this afternoon, but. What a great excuse to get out in our camper van and enjoy this beautiful place just an hour from home. I bet these professional pots have a lot more success than our little net and bucket. Isle of Wight in the distance and the needles a really popular spot as always with these places the trick is to get here early we were here about half past nine managed to get a good spot now half past 11, car park's full, all the good positions are taken and people queuing to get in. And this is a Wednesday, admittedly it's half term holiday but you've got to get up early if you want to enjoy a day out. See how Harry's getting on, see whether he's caught anything. How are we doing Harry? Um, I think there are have, have you caught any more? Um, no, not more. No more? Oh. Oh, yeah, two, two more. Three. Two tiny ones. One was like that one. Okay. So, and one was about Do we need to top up the bacon? Um, top up the bait. Water's a bit murky. Ooh, I've got another. Ooh, reel them in. 
Oh, reel him in. No. Okay, I've got another one. Now. Approach him from behind. Watch those pincers. Yay! If we ever do a poem contest, he would win. Hey, Joe, wait, Gerald! Gerald the crab. Drop him in. Right, ready to cast off. So we've had a great day down here at Mudderford Key crabbing. I think we've caught a reasonable haul, not as many as we have in the past, but um, I think we've all had a lovely day. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch. Remember to hit the button to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. In fact, the rain's just coming in, so it's probably time to pack up and go home. Certainly get back to the van. Maybe go back to the van and have some lunch. Let's do that. Thanks for watching. Let's empty out and see how many we managed to catch. So one. Two. Three. Yep. Can you catch it? Oh. <laughs> You're going that way. It's alright, he'll flip himself over. He'll flip himself over. Oh, hey! Over the edge. Another one, Tiddler he is. That's the tiddler. He's a tiddler, show me. He really is tiny. Super tiny. Goodbye, small. Mm. Is that everybody? No. So pour the water back. So he'll find his way out.